right, here's a video on how to use this camera. It's a dual voltage camera. We'll start with a pigtail. This is a BNC pigtail. This is what goes into your DVR. This is how all security cameras are. It can output both HD and analog, and I'm gonna show you how to switch that in just one second, and that's really what this video is about. Second, this is the power. On this pigtail, if you hold it this way with the screws facing you and the inlets downward, the left side is positive, the right side is negative. So this pigtail that you see coming out of the red one doesn't come with the camera. You have to use your own. So for 24 volts, there's no polarity. It's an AC voltage. So you could plug them in anywhere you want, and it doesn't matter if it's 24 volts AC that you're using to power the camera. But if you're using 12 volts, the left side is positive, the right side is negative. If you get that wrong, you're gonna fry this, this camera. You have to use some installer common sense. This is general knowledge you earn, learn. It does very faintly say that on there. And this is the reason I'm making this video to make sure you understand how to install this camera. So here's your, you put your own power pigtail. You can get your own uh, connected in here. Make sure what I've done here, you're not doing this. If you're leaving any leads exposed on the pigtail like this, if water drops here, it'll arc it and will fry your camera and void your warranty. So make sure there's no exposed copper or aluminum on there. The camera comes in in two pieces. There's a bracket. This bracket is the junction box basically that gets screwed in to your ceiling or your wall. This is a ceiling mounted camera. This is a drill template that you can use to acquaint yourself where to drill on your substrate and then mount this junction box. After the camera's been mounted, you should have your BNC cable coming through here or through here, and then this camera goes on top and then screws in. You unscrew the top of this camera. It comes with an Allen key inside the box. Do not use a drill. If you use a drill to unscrew or screw these in, you will warp the heads and basically uh, you will be out of luck and there's no way to get back into the camera. It's a user error that is not gonna be covered under warranty. This is the Allen key that comes with it. Use only this to open the camera, please. Otherwise, you can get yourself this. I have a Husky set that comes with um, uh, bits in there and this specific bit, if you wanna know what that is, it is called a T20 CRV T20. CRV T20. That goes in here pretty nice. Now, when you're seating this camera in, these mounting holes on the outside, not this one, unfortunately, it's easier if I explain it this way. Not this one that you can see actually kind of a um, anchor on the bottom. It's the unanchored screw holes. There are three of them. You put them on top of the junction box, sit the camera in, screw them in with your own hardware. Or I believe there is some uh, hardware included with the cameras. There are three bolts per camera that are included. Please don't lose them because we can't find you spares. You're gonna have to go to Home Depot to find them. And there are these wall anchors. They're not meant for um, you know concrete walls. They're only meant for drywall. They affix the junction box to that. Again, these bolts, do not lose them. If you do, you're gonna have to find matching ones from Home Depot. All the cameras ship out complete. The last thing is this thing, you don't need it at all. It is a testing cable. If you are a professional CCTV installer, you would install it in here and to see what output you're getting. Please don't even use it because you're ultimately gonna somehow get near that circuit board. You touch that with metal, you fry the board. You fry the camera, it's out of warranty. Uh, so if you're using an old analog system, you wanna switch this thing to CVBS, give it a second or two, it'll switch over to CVBS. Using the same BNC connector, you're gonna get coax video. That, at the flip of a switch, will switch the camera from analog mode, which is CVBS on the top, and TVI on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna put it back on to CVBS for shipping it to you to make sure it's, everything is uniform. Here's another thing. When positioning the camera, you cannot, you cannot tilt it to one side more than 90 degrees. Okay, this is 90. You can bring it down to a certain degree per specs this much. I think this would be about 35 degrees. You can move the camera this way. This is not a pan tilt zoom camera. It is a manual 
fixed camera. You fix it in one direction the way you want to mount it. Put your dome on, put the camera back in the junction box, screw it to the wall, all that, not in that order, of course. And then, so it's not gonna move around left and right on, on its own. It does have motorized zoom. So I'll show you the motorized zoom. You get a DVR that supports TVI protocols. Go to the PTZ control section on it. And you press the zoom button. It will um, trigger the zoom function if your uh, DVR supports it. So right now, it's starting to do something. You can hear it. So here we go. And then it autofocuses the image and uh, gives you a good clean image. So we're gonna show you how to control the zoom on this camera. Once you have it open, you'll see there's a little joystick there. It's like a little knob. You know what direction up is because it says up, there's a little arrow, and there's up written right next to the right-hand side of it. So then it kind of lets you know where all the other directions are, left, right, and down. So I'm gonna show you how to get, how to use this joystick to pull up the feet on the camera. So now, I am gonna show you that right now, my hand is over the camera and doesn't show me anything. If I actually press down on the camera, on that knob, let's do it again. You, you heard that. That, that. that noise is actually me pressing down on it. Now by pointing the joystick down, going into the focus menu, so I flip it down once, twice. Now I press in. I didn't go left, right, up and down. I pressed in. It's like enter. Press it again. I entered into this menu. Now, what this tells me is if I press up, it'll zoom in. And if I toggle the joystick down, it'll zoom out and left and right control focus. So if for some reason your camera is on a spot where it's not focusing well, you can use these manual adjustments. So again, here, it's all done by this little joystick in there. I'm gonna move my finger out of the way for you to see that. So that's, let's, let's show how you press in. That's pressing in. How about up and down? Yep. So you gotta have, it's sort of like a mini Atari joystick that you're controlling. That's pretty much it. And that lets you control the motorized zoom function even in analog mode. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.